The Google ecosystem is just massive. It can be really confusing for business owners to know which tools to use where to get the best performance of your site within search, but also some operational productivity tools that you can use within Google to help you along the way. So today I just thought I'd look at four of those must-haves you should be absolutely having in your business to ensure that performance. So let's have a look. The first, first one is Google My Business. It's the front end of your site within Google. It's the stamp of Google to say, yes, this is this business. So it's the first thing that appears if someone searches your business name, your Google My Business profile will appear first. It's the stamp on the map. It's uh, your Google reviews, all of that sort of front end. That's uh, critical to set up first. Now, I would actually set these up under one login account. So set up a your business name at gmail.com or if you're using the G Suite for email, then you would have a dedicated you know, Google at mybusiness.com.au as your core account. Set up each of these different tools and activate them under the one account. Therefore, you have a much better way to track them in the future, combine the data, etc. So what's next? This sits, Google Tag Manager sits at the back end of your site. It's a little bit of code that sits in your site. Great for serving all the different tracking tools and performance analytics tools that you need to plug in. Google Analytics is one, but you can also plug in the Facebook Pixel into that same account and your Google Ads tracking all plugs into this one bit of code. Very powerful. It is the most efficient way to serve your tracking codes now rather than adding all these different blocks of code in the bottom of your site, which is going to slow it down. Tag Manager is the solution for that. The next is Google Cloud. Again, some of you may know about Google Cloud and may use it without even realizing it. If you're serving a location map with embedded in your website, then you absolutely need a billing account in Google Cloud to activate and make sure that map is working. Sometimes you go to sites now that just show, ah, oh, this map isn't working properly, please contact the web guy. Uh, that's because the billing account isn't activated. So Google Cloud looks after all that API stuff as well as other massive services around uh, cloud hosting and, and storage, etc. The next one is Google Search Console. It is the hidden gem of the web knowledge around how your site is performing within uh, Google organic search. It extends analytics beyond uh, what you really need. It's got lots of data, but at its core is you can understand the clicks, impressions, click throughs, and average positions for uh, each search phrase that connects to your site. So you get a whole uh, detailed uh, range of information around your search profile as well as the health of your site. You can run um, analytics on different, uh, different parts of you, the health of your site. You can also uh, you register sitemaps um, and your robots.txt files, all that technical SEO stuff happens within Search Console. It is an absolute must. You should be looking at this data at least quarterly, if not monthly, uh, if you're into a high traffic site. And last but not least, it's optional but pretty powerful if you really want to run with it, and that's running your mail through uh, G Suite. You can really reduce your spam by using uh, those tools, but it also opens up you know, Google Shared Drives uh, using um, Google Docs, Google Sheets, uh, calendars, shared calendars, all of that uh, environment for running your business or to help you run your business happens within the G Suite account. So that's... That's it in a nutshell. If you need a hand setting up these tools, again, we do it day in, day out, is connect all those dots. So often we see parts of the Google setup over here, parts are hidden over here in a different account. We can help you streamline that into one uh, account and get your business really humming within the Google environment.